Now I want to save the environment. I want to save money and save the environment. And I've got a solution. You probably saw my video where I was tired of paying $500 a month for electricity and wanted a new way to make heat for my home. You also probably saw the video where I got a really good deal on some wood pellets and I wanted to make them burn in the wood stove that I'd put in my house. Well, this is different. I'm doing something different now. I want to save money, but I want to save the environment at the same time. How about a completely clean, renewable, clean burning, efficient heat source for my home? That's good for the environment. How about that? And it's free to me. So we gotta stay warm. Uh, you gotta have heat. You don't freeze to death. West Virginia gets pretty darn cold. It uh, got negative 18 a couple years ago in the wintertime. So we gotta stay warm. Heat costs money and we're a poor area. What we do have is truly renewable resources. We've got horses. Horses make poop poop burns okay so admittedly the trick to this is it has to be very dry very very dry so I put it in my building so I've never actually burned horse manure <laughs> this is going to be a trial and error thing but it is truly renewable I mean the horses eat the grass the grass grows every year and we have the horses anyway you know why not now when we do put them in the barn uh, we have sawdust uh, that's in the barn with them and we end up collecting that with the manure now why is that a good thing that's a good thing because sawmills make more sawdust than they can use around here now I know a lot of sawmills sell their sawdust to make furniture and things like that for particle board but the transportation of the sawdust is such an expense that the sawdust around here usually just gets burned uh, at, the, at the end of a, a period of time uh, they just burn the sawdust because it's too expensive to transport to the factories that make particle board. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't think it's going to just burn by itself. There are going to be a few parts of this that are not perfectly environmentally friendly, you know? You have to get things started. You have to use a match. <laughs> you know, the match has sulfur. It has, it has things that's not, but it's just a small portion. You know, don't don't lose your environmental minds over a match. You got to get going. You also have to get the fire going really good before this is going to burn well and not just smoke. So you have to have a good hot fire, and we may have to do a few things to make that happen. Got a match burning. We got our horse manure. How well does it burn? I mean, it's not just catching on on its own really easily. It's not doing that. Let's go to another step. What about a piece of paper? What's neat is it doesn't smell. It's been dried out all uh, summer long in the building and the heat but it's not going to burn but you know if you just took a, a, a log and did this to it it wouldn't burn either you have to get it going this is just to see how flammable it really is we're smoking we're not burning but alcohol needs a little bit of an accelerant We're burning now. It's difficult to see because it's daylight out here. But I can feel the heat. Yeah, you see the flames? We're, we're burning. 
The next step to this test is to go inside. See, the, the manure has caught the paper back on fire there. Is to take it to the wood stove inside and see if we can get us a good manure fire going. You ready for winter time, buddy? You watching the leaves fall? Pretty, isn't it? That, my friends, is horse poop burning in a wood stove. <laughs> That's what it is. What, you don't like the fire? What? All right, now I'm gonna admit, I did use quite a bit. Buddy, I know you What? What? So to get it going, I did use quite a bit of alcohol on the, the first bit going in there uh, to get it started, but then I've been stacking the dry stuff on top of it, and it's been catching, it's been burning. Uh, so let's hope it, it keeps going. I may have to put some wood or something in there with it uh, to, you know, keep the fire rolling, but I, I believe it's going to significantly take down my, my use of wood. Who thought? So because of geography, I have lots of coal. <laughs> Man, I got I got tons of coal to burn, and for me, it's very energy efficient. It's going to help, but it's not renewable. Coal is probably one of the absolutely not renewable resources. No more coal will ever be made. It's an interesting uh, subject to really get into, but the coal we have is the coal that we will ever have. So. So far, this stuff has been burning really clean. The horse manure has burned really clean. The coal burns really dirty. <laughs> makes a lot of soot and a lot of ash. Makes a lot of problems. But the coal, I mean, the horse manure has been really fantastic. Now, I believe I'm gonna have to get the fire going a little hotter, a few pe thin pieces of wood. And then I believe I can burn all of the dried manure that I have, which admittedly, not a lot this year because this was an experiment. Now I have a lot of it stored underneath that tarp that I can dry. But it'll be next season before I get to use it. This is going to be completely renewable. It's going to be environmentally friendly, biodegradable. It burns clean. It's not leaving any kind of smell in the house. I don't smell the manure. As a matter of fact, the manure itself, after it's dried like this, doesn't smell. So far, so good. Okay, so before we get into the conversation of solar and wind and all these renewable resources, they're really good and I'm really happy that uh, people are able to use this for clean energy. I'm not. I've got a very high mountain here. I have a very high mountain there. <laughs> Our wind is blocked. Uh, we don't have the access to that and, and consequently, most of the sun is blocked. So because of all that, uh, it makes wind and solar not an option for me. Now, it's not an option for a lot of people because of the cost. Uh, the initial cost of setting up solar is incredible. I have $200 in my wood-burning stove and maybe another $150 in fittings and pipe and things like that that you need to make this happen. You know, under, under $1,000, under $500. I've got this set up going. We already have the horses. The manure is already there. Uh, we give a, a lot of away to local farmers and things like that. Um, you know, we've got a, a few farmers in the area who use it to fertilize their crops, but we've got more uh, than they need. And it just piles up. And we spread it on our lawn, we do things like that. But I think heating my home uh, is a better use for this manure. And if all the cows, all of the other large farms in America would come up with a system for doing this, this is a renewable resource. And there's a lot of poop out there. So let's take poop and make something good. All right, listen, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. And uh, 
till the next crazy idea. I I'll see you then. You want to help the cause?